Alright, so we're here in the South Hall, booth 5177, and I'm here with Alicia, a new company that's just entering the United States with a picking AMR, and I'm gonna get to pick later. So Alicia, tell us before we do that a little bit about your company. Thank you, Chris. Hi, I'm Alicia, and I'm here to talk about Repeater Robotics. So we're based out of Japan. We're number one there. So it's a it's a narrow aisle system yes. coming from Japan, yes. which is kind of a narrow country. Having yes. been there, uh, everything is compact in Japan. Exactly. Let's take a look. Woo Thank you. So we're at the Dexterity booth here. It's Monday morning. I'm with Michael Perry, and the booth is in the South Hall. What number are we? S3391. 3391. This is Dexterity. Michael, tell me a little bit about Dexterity and what you guys are showing off here. Thanks, Chris. Uh, so Dexterity provides robot intelligence by providing the full stack of motion control, vision, sensing, force control, robot collaboration, all of the different elements that help a robot handle the complexity of warehouse work. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate the introduction to Dexterity. Again, we're in the South Hall. I can never remember the booth number. S3391. 3391. Thanks a lot. All Take right. care. Thanks. Have a great show. Wada, nice to meet you. Nice to meet what you. What a great booth right here in the front. It's 603 in the South Hall. Yes. So Van der Lande is uh, based in the Netherlands. So we're a warehouse uh, automation company. We're active in three sectors. So okay. we're in airports, in parcel, and in warehouses. So. Fantastic. Where should we start? I think we should start with our smart item. Let's go see it. So Lada, behind us we have this really interesting ergonomic pick station. Tell us about it. Yes, this is our goods to picker station and uh, it's designed so that it can be used both by a human and by the robots. So the totes are, uh, with the products are arriving actually from our uh, automated storage and retrieval system. They arrive here, the robot recognizes, uh, they will make like a point cloud, they look with it with the camera, they define how to grasp it, they pick it up and place it in the in the order carrier. It's our Adapto and Adapto is our shuttle that basically rolls on each floor and what's special about it is that uh, we also do the sequencing in our lifts. Well, Lata, this has been really educational, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time you. and uh, we appreciate it. Great. We're at the SSI Schaefer booth, which is in the South Hall. It's 1931, and I'm here with Jay Yale. What is it that you're showing off here at Promat 23? Uh, here we are strictly on the AGB business, okay. and we are exhibiting AGBs. And uh, currently we are showcasing a product line called Sally. And the most important thing is the navigation technology that is uh, being introduced here. It's called a Planable Anonymous HB Navigation System. So you'll want to check out SSI Schaefer's booth, which is 1931. Um, they've acquired a company called DS Automotion. Um, Simon and Jay gave us a great tour here. And uh, guys, I want to thank you. Have a great show. We're in the South Hall at booth 27. 12, 12, 27, 12, and I'm with Alex Stevens, who's the president of the Warehouse Automation Group for OPEX Corporation. We've been in the warehouse automation industry for 10 years now, and uh, we have uh, two good person products. One is our legacy product, Perfect Pick, and that was our first product we ever launched. We're launching our second product, uh, Infinity, which we actually have an installation that went live a few weeks back. Oh wow! Uh, with uh, yeah, so uh, with back off thing is that this is a triple deep storage system, so it is incredibly dense. And Alex was telling me about um, there's like a coupling system, like a train track, where you can pull the first one out and they all kind of come out one at a time. One at a time. It's really it's really very clever. Um, very very clever, Alex. I'm very impressed. All right, Alex. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Really Thank appreciate you. it. We're in the North Hall at booth 6062. 
I'm joined by Jared Flightman from Phantom Auto. Uh, we enable drivers to work remotely. Uh, and what that means is we are deploying uh, remote-enabled vehicles that are fully remotely operated uh, by drivers, by people like the folks sitting behind us that are uh, uh, sitting at a console with the steering wheel and some pedals. Uh, they can be sitting here in Chicago like they are today and controlling forklifts that are uh, located around the country. I'm not certified to drive a fork trick, so unfortunately Jared's not going to let me <laughs> behind the controls. So we, we actually popped up five operators here uh, at Promat. The two drivers here are driving at CJ Logistics, which is in Wilmer, Texas. We've got two drivers here driving in South San Francisco. Um, Harmony is um, high-functioning autistic. Um, has struggled to kind of keep a job for, for very extended periods of time. Uh, she's been with us for eight months now and is wow. absolutely crushing it. That's yeah. amazing. It's just amazing. Yeah. So, and we think it's a win-win for our customers who are having trouble hiring people. We say this is, these are different communities, right, that we can tap into. That's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks again. All right. Take care. All right. See you around. We're in the North Hall at booth 6956. This is Bernard Cass, and he's with a company called Rios. Bernard, tell us a little bit about Rios and what you're showing off here at Promat. So Rios is a Silicon Valley tech company that is leading the charge in reindustrializing America. So our mission is to transform all nine industries into smart factories of the future powered by robotics and AI. Food and beverage focus, I like the term reindustrializing America. So we are demonstrating end of line packaging. This is our sweet spot. So we are building machines that handle every aspect of the production process in the factories. Anywhere from, so we, we, we have software adaptable machines that handle uh, any, anywhere from material handling, um, packaging of goods, quality control, and also palletizing. And we have a sweet spot, which is essentially end-of-line packaging. What that means in a nutshell is basically putting stuff in boxes or putting stuff in plastic bags. <laughs> got it, got it. Hey folks, this morning we spent time in the South Hall. Now we're in the North Hall and we've got this great bird's eye view courtesy of Nordoc, Bluff, and Wesco. And you can see behind me, there's so many people learning about cool new technology for their warehouse and supply chain operations. I'm excited to spend time tomorrow in the, in the North Hall, including the Robot Theater. Don't forget that session at 4.15 that yours truly is hosting on what's possible with the future of robots for warehouses. Um, and of course, if you see something cool that I need to know about and our viewers need to know about, let me know. Send me a text, whatever, get in touch. Definitely want to cover all the cool stuff. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow here on robotadvisors.ai's website.